Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me in beautiful sunny Arizona. I'm in the middle of my 5,000 mile uh, road trip from Chicago to Phoenix, then up to Yosemite National Park and across Highway 50 will be a special edition that we'll be shooting next week. And then uh, back across 80 home through Denver. But today we're, uh, we're doing a special day trip to Sedona, Arizona. I got the ID charged to 99%, which is important because according to my maps, we're gonna need 60% of the battery to get to Sedona and then 40% to get home. So range anxiety will definitely be at peak on this drive. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. So for those of you who are new to the channel, we have the 2021 Volkswagen ID4 first edition. So this is the 77 kilowatt hour battery. EPA rated at 250 miles. Uh, we're supposed to get a software update soon that'll bump that to 260, but still waiting on that. Not sure if it'll ever show up, but it's almost time to hit the road. Just just got here, Lauren's here. So time to head up to Sedona. here with Jess and Lauren. We uh, just did the Devil's Bridge Trail. Now we're on the Mezcal Trail going back to the Volkswagen. We arrived here with 42%, uh, I believe. Uh, now we have to, a couple miles to go to get to downtown Sedona, get some dinner, and uh, hopefully find a level two charger because I don't think we can make it back to Phoenix with 40% or less. So stay tuned.
so we walked around in Sedona. I uh, got some good food. Sun's about to set. Um, now we're heading back to the Phoenix area. We have 66 miles to go. And the rated range is 90 miles, as I've documented in other videos. Uh, that's not accurate. What we need to go off of is the live data being broadcast from the OBD dongle to a better route planner app. That shows that we have 34% state of charge now, and we are predicted to arrive at 7% if we only go 65 miles an hour, which we are not doing. But we will um, we'll check back in a little bit. We're heading to Black Canyon City, I believe it's called. There's a Walmart there, so we'll be able to get top off with an Electrify America charger and um, be able to make it home to Phoenix. So what was your favorite part of uh, Sedona? The hike or uh, the ride in the Volkswagen or the wing, wings and things, the wraps? I can't do that. <laughs> down to 20 percent uh, since the car doesn't factor in elevation it thinks we only have 32 miles left even though navigation says we have 48 miles to go but I trust the app as I said earlier uh, it says we'll get there with six percent so uh, we'll keep keep in, keep checking in and see if we make it if not it'll make for good video content down to 9%, 24 miles of estimated range remaining. Uh, a better route planner thinks that there's no chance of us making it, says this plan is no longer viable, and there really is no alternative, because I know there's no other chargers around here. However, it also says we will get there with 3%, so I think it's just a little confused with all this downhill and elevation and stuff. I think, are we gonna make it? I believe we are. What about you? I think, think we will. All right, at least there's confidence in the car. Authorize the charge so it says to plug in now. So let's uh, let the connectors contact and ramp up and see if we can get the full 125 kilowatt peak speed. And we should only be here for about 10 minutes, then we'll be able to make it the next uh, 30 miles down the road to Phoenix. All right, immediately jumped up to 123 kilowatts. This should be a real quick charging stop. We'll check back in a couple minutes and see where we're at. So we're already up to 15%. We only need 7% to get home from here. This would be a good time to take a moment. And if you haven't already liked this video, if you found this content helpful, um, subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot and smash that bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. 
Uh, obviously this is in the middle of the 5,000 mile road trip that I think is gonna be a four part series most likely. I'll have it linked, episode one linked above if you haven't seen that already. Definitely check that out. Also check out some of our other car reviews as well as um, other road trips that we've done. It's been a, quite an experience having this car for a year right now, almost 30,000 miles on it. So I'll have a big review once I get home from this trip, um, just going over every good, bad, and ugly moment we've had with the car. And, uh, and yeah, it's been quite a good experience. We're the only ones here in, this is like actually technically really far Northern Phoenix, four chargers at this location. Cabinets are behind the wall over here. Add another lovely Walmart. I don't know, it's a love hating relationship with all these Walmarts. It's nice that they're always, most in the most cases, open 24 hours, but uh, it does get repetitive going to so many of them on these trips when we have like 20 or 30 charges to do. But it's uh, 75 degrees outside, so I can't complain. Another beautiful day in sunny Phoenix. And just like that, we're already up to 20%, only took seven minutes, and we gained 15 kilowatt hours, so really great charging session here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug, and then we have about 35 miles to go to get back to uh, Northern Phoenix where we've been staying. And then we'll uh, be there for a couple more days before I head off to Yosemite National Park. So we made it back with 14%. Uh, I'll have to do all the math later, but I'll be sure to put all the information down at the bottom as far as um, all the data as I do in all my videos to show what our efficiency was for the whole day. I was actually kind of surprised when we left for the day, I thought we could make it to Sedona and back on one charge, but it just definitely wasn't gonna be possible. I think the big, big uh, person to blame there is actually just the speeds that we're able to travel around here at 75 mile an hour speed limits through the whole state. So uh, in most cases, you're definitely doing 80, most of the highway stints. And you know, that's just uh, the laws of physics at that point. So efficiency was probably on the lower side. But like I said, I'll be sure to put that alone, uh, below. And if you haven't already, like I said earlier, please do like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And stay tuned for future content and a lot more videos with the Volkswagen ID4 and soon some more upcoming reviews of cars such as the EQS uh, the Mustang Mach-E GT and GT Performance, as well as some others. So thank you and take care till next time.